Hi, welcome to another of my Strings and Things. Today I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking and comparing some guitar strings. Well, uh, guitar strings make a really important contribution to how a guitar sounds. And um, there are many different types and different strings match different guitars, etc. It's, it's a wor whole world out there. Uh, very interesting history as well to guitar strings and other kind of musical instrument strings. And I've left um, on the uh, uh, li links below some links to a few websites if you're really interested in this area. Uh, you can go and have a look for yourself. Now I've been playing guitar for uh, quite a long time, well trying to play guitar for a very long time. Uh, most of my time I've been spending uh, with uh, Fossa Bronze strings uh, by Martin or Pierce or particularly Daddario. And most often I'll buy and put on Daddario strings. And um, uh, the, the strings I like are the Fossa Bronze strings that Daddario actually the first strings introduced in about 1974. And the Fossa part of the Fossa Bronze really was to try and um, reduce the amount of, uh, uh, if you like, tarnishing and dullness that time produced on these on these on the bronze strings. So that was 1974, and these strings that I often put on are the EJ16, uh, and they are 12 to 53 gauge set of strings. Interestingly enough, they all these strings have a, a carbon steel core. And obviously strings um, uh, three through six, uh, obviously wound with the phosphor bronze material. Now recently um, I started using some other strings, uh, and these have been reintroduced uh, by Martin, um, and they are the uh, the met what they call the retro strings, and these strings are made from a material called um, Monel, and I like these strings very much. And so what, in this video, I'm going to try and compare the sounds of the Monel versus the Fossa Bronze strings. Different manufacturers, but nonetheless, I hope you'll get the idea. Uh, now, Monel's an interesting uh, alloy, uh, whereas Fossa Bronze, obviously bronze is copper, mostly copper, maybe 80% copper, uh, and then tin as a remainder. Plus, obviously, in the case of the Fossa Bronze, there's some phosphorus in there as well. So that's a copper tin alloy, and these are predominantly a nickel and copper alloy. And um, uh, no steel in here at all, so all of the strings are Monel. Now, why Monel? Well, Monel was uh, invented in about uh, uh, 1901 and patented in about 1906 by the International um, Nickel Corporation, who are obviously uh, making nickel alloys for all sorts of uses. Um, Monell, incidentally, comes from the name of the president of that company at the time. That's where the name Monell comes from. Um, anyway, so Monell actually is still in use today, um, and it's in use in the um, uh, aerospace industry uh, and many other industries where they want a material with a high tensile strength, and good resistance to, if you like, tarnishing uh, and uh, weathering. Uh, now, these uh, Monell strings were in use in the probably the 30s, etc., 20s and 30s, uh, by um, many musicians, uh, because phosphor bronzes strings weren't available then, um, and um, and then they fell out of use, probably because nickel is actually quite an expensive uh, metal, uh, and its use. For, for something else, and phosphor, bronze, etc., was a cheaper metal substitute. And uh, obviously, the different string makers argued for different kinds of warmth or brightness in the strings, etc. Et but in uh, 2015, yes, um, uh, Martin started reissuing these strings as a result, really, of a request from a very famous bluegrass as, um, guitarist called Tony Rice, who wanted to go back to those early types of strings he had on his guitars. So Martin obviously made the first set of Monells for him. He liked them very much, and Martin thought, well, we'll bring them back and see how they do. 
Now, I'm not the first person um, on YouTube at all to recognize that these are fantastically good strings. Now, what I mentioned, um, one of the things about them, first of all, they have high tensile strength and they're particularly resistant to corrosion. And that's one of the things, obviously, that you get with the phosphor bronze and bronze strings. They tend to corrode and dull very quickly. Now, that dullness that you get isn't only necessarily corrosion. There are many other factors which affect it uh, because bronze is a slightly softer metal. So, effectively, there's more wear from the frets on a bronze string. Um, and we all know how it is when you change a set of strings on a, a, an acoustic guitar, how, the, how when you put the new set on for the old set, um, they suddenly sound wonderful and bright and you can't stop playing the guitar until eventually and slowly uh, that brightness and newness wears off. But now I've been using uh, Monell strings probably for six or seven months now and the sets that I put on my guitar uh, remain to my ears just as bright and I hope to prove that uh, to you by comparing new and old Monells one with the other, and then the fossil bronze strings, the Dodari of fossil bronze strings, um, uh, in also new and old. Uh, and, um, and then I obviously would like you to make some comments. What can you hear uh, compared to how I find these strings? Uh, so I'll do some comparisons, and the way I'm going to do this is to play uh, the guitar uh, th uh, in slightly three different slightly ways. First of all, uh, a sort of a, 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 a strum with a plectrum, a strum with my fingers, and then a bit of finger picking. And I'll try and do the same thing with all four sets of strings. Uh, there'll obviously be a bit of a, bit of a gap between uh, one set of strings and the other, but I hope to bring them all together at one end to give you a sort of almost a quick snapshot of what these sounds, what these strings sound like, and, and then I'll give you a little bit of a wind, uh, wind down at the end uh, to give you my opinion on them. So, uh, give you a minute, and I'll pick up the first uh, uh, my guitar with the first set of strings. And the guitar I'm going to use is not a terribly special guitar. Obviously, different strings uh, make uh, have different impacts on different types of guitar. Whether that's a big jumbo a parlor guitar, or in this case, uh, a grand auditorium style size uh, guitar, which is a mahogany-based uh, guitar. It's a, it's a completely laminate guitar that I've had for some time, and it actually makes a very nice uh, sound. And I, I play it a lot, both in gigs, but also uh, I record with it uh, quite a lot. Okay, so give me a minute, and I'll set up, uh, and um, let's have a listen to these strings.
those are the sound tests. Um, uh, I wonder what you can hear of the differences between uh, the two different types of strings, the Manels versus the Fossil Bronzes. Well, what I hear, particularly in the older strings, and both those sets of strings, uh, I've kept there one around about six to seven months old, and both have been played, uh, both the Manels and the Fossil Bronze. So they're roughly equivalent in, in, in aging, if you like from being first put on. Um, what I very clearly can hear is that the Manels remain bright and sharp and crisp uh, and the Fossil Bronze have really become much duller. Well you might like to have a duller string uh, for sort of more jazzy sound and things like that. You don't always want a very sharp uh, uh, bright sound from your guitar. The other thing that's quite apparent that you, you can't see really is that when I look at the fossil bronzes they're clearly uh, corroded, they're quite black, particularly where they've been played around on frets and in, around obviously where the pick has been playing them. Um, the particular the, the third gauge string has got quite a lot of wear where the fret, the fret wear on it. And when you compare, when I compare the Manels, the old ones with the new ones, well there's very little difference. I can't really see much difference between those two sets of strings visually and moreover uh, possibly the new ones are a little bit brighter uh, what do you think uh, a little bit brighter but nonetheless uh, they're still bright and crisp so for the new strings I can't really detect much difference I think the uh, Manels are just that snappier slightly brighter uh, than the Fossa Bronze you might you might expect that really. For the bronze is a softer kind of metal. Manel is a very hard, uh, with a lot of hard metal with a lot of ductile strength. Um, uh, uh, so corrosion resistant, absolutely. So I think um, I'm going to stay playing these uh, Manel strings um, uh, because I just think they're really great. They're not that much more expensive than the fossil bronze strings. You can get them all the standard gauges. Um, and the point is, they can stay on the guitar for a long time. I don't know how long it would be before they start to degrade in terms of the sound quality. Uh, but of course, the sound quality will degrade because obviously as you play them with your finger, you're leaving uh, grime and, other, and fats and oils and things on the strings. There will be a little bit of fret wear, but once again, I really can't detect any from the old Manel strings. So, uh, what do you think? Leave me some comments. Um, uh, you can see other um, people uh, recommending these uh, Manel strings. And then if you're interested, as I say, in the history of strings, which is a very interesting history and continues to um, obviously develop what with um, coated strings and those sorts of things, uh, have a listen uh, have a look at the links below. Uh, for example, there's a very interesting website uh, by somebody called Professor String. And there's, if you really want to get down into the details of it, there's a lot of physics on there. There's some comparisons of corrosion uh, strings and the impact of time uh, and length of playing of particular strings. Uh, and um, very interesting. But there's some other interesting histories there at all. Um, in fact, you could write a book. In fact, I think several people have. So thank you very much for listening. Uh, and um, by the way, it's 2022 now. So a happy new year to all of you. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.